Hi, this reading is for Gemini. The deck we have today is the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Uh, I'd like to remind you to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I also want to give a great big thank you to my subscribers. My channel has just hit a hundred plus subscribers. I'm so very grateful. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the views, all the subscribes, all the thumbs up, all the comments. They are all greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. So this is a reading for Gemini. So the first card is Justice. So you're going to have to make a decision. You're weighing your, some pros and cons to things. So there is some conflict that you have to resolve. And you have to find balance. I think this is definitely you. Um, now we have a card. They call this the defeat card. I don't see it that way. Uh, this is the fifth, the five of swords. Um, <clears throat> the decision may be over. Uh, but there is some people that aren't so happy about the decision that has been made. You're picking up the pieces for that situation, but you're going to move forward anyway. This may have to involve some friends that aren't so happy. I don't think it's a career. Does it? I think it has to do with romance, maybe. Is it? It's not a family. I think it's a friend. So I think there's something there with work and romance maybe involved here. <clears throat> One may be impacting the other. The decisions that were made may impact something like that great strength though so this is the nine of wands so you have a lot of power to you to move forward looks like you're waiting for something you aren't without some injury from the previous battle or, or conflict that you've had so you may be doing some healing as well, but you are strong. This card is the Four of Cups. They call it blended pleasure. I don't know. Anyways, the Four of Cups, you are a bit unhappy about something. Somebody is offering up some love to you. You're having some indecision. I think it is related to this to this situation with a friend. Um, there's definitely some sorrow here. I think. Uh, You may have had to turn somebody down for a romantic, uh, because of a romantic offering. It's not where you want to be. You are still, it's not the decision that you're, 
you're not interested in this love offering. You have your mind elsewhere. But yeah. There is some sorrow, some sadness. But anyways. You're reflecting on it. Maybe. That's, remember you had to make a decision? You, I think you just wanted friendship and somebody wanted more. That's why there's conflict there. You are, lo you are looking at other options. You're not interested in that person in a romantic way. I think that's what it is. Well, what? You got that Ten of Pentacles? Whoa. Whoa. Ah. So this, somehow, this is all related, the justice. I think it's work. It's work related too. Could be jealousy involved here. It may be affecting a friendship though, this contract. Is it romantic? It, it could be both. It could be affecting both rom like the, this romantic offering. Oh wait, wait. I it's both. You've got two things going on here. It's affecting friendships, romance. Even though you've got the promise of prosperity. I see cups as prosperity. Now you've got wealth. You've been offered up something. And it's giving you wealth. And I think it's the job you're in. But I think there's emotions all about tied into friendship and love. And even though you've got this new prosperity, this new wealth, you're still troubled. Yeah. Judgment. A judgment has been made. So you had justice here at first, now you have judgment. I think you have come to a decision about things, and it also work, I think. There is something related to work in there. It's mostly focused around you, but yeah, I think it's related to this as well. The Empress. Whoa, okay. Is this a mother figure? Is this a romantic? No. Is this a boss? I, I think the Empress is a boss. She may have been the one that made the judgment. That made the decision for the wealth. Now... We have the death card. The death card, it just means something is ending and something new is beginning. So this may mean in order for you to go forward, you will have to leave some things behind. I think it's just a done deal. that it could be the end of some friendships, right? It could be the end of, I think it's French end of friendships. Um, do we need 
let's see. I think I'm going to pull another card for you. Okay. The King of Wands. He also has a lion. It's about being strong. And you being a strong person that you are made of something that is great. And it's wands. You have power and strength. Don't forget that. This is not you. Death does not represent you. It just represents an ending to maybe some relationships and to move forward. But this represents you. Strength. You're not defeated. You are strong. You are powerful. This is a very positive card. There, there's a light behind them. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't forget that. Don't think too negatively about this death card. Okay, it's just that you may, you will be stronger after this. Okay. So that's it for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up if, and leave comments if you felt you could relate to this video. I hope to see you in a new, in a new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.